Congress is broken, but not just because of partisan politics. In some ways, it's more practical than that. To really start fixing Congress, we need to treat it like any other company. It includes turning Congress into a modernized workplace that meets the needs of its employees just like the average American wants its employer to meet its needs. Congress has huge responsibilities, like making sensible laws, representing the people, and putting a check on executive power. And like any other company, it needs a well-informed, well-resourced staff that don't hate their jobs. But over time, cuts to staff and budget have hollowed out Congress's capacity. We've seen fewer and fewer uh, people working for congressional committees, which can be an important locus of policymaking in the institution. We've seen a decline um, in the staffs of the congressional support agencies. We tracked the um, abolition of one congressional support agency whose job was to help Congress understand science and technology issues. Well, how do you sustain a business model in which users don't pay for your service? Senator, we run ads. Today, a member of the House has an average of 15 full-time staff members to help them deal with more than 700,000 constituents. All the while, they're working on complex laws and running for re-election. They spend an enormous amount of resources just trying to answer what their constituents want to hear. So a good member of Congress always responds. And of course, if you have staff that's doing nothing but answering letters, you don't have staff that's actually doing the research. So when we have changes on Obamacare, a lot of people know the reasons they don't like it, but they don't know what to do in its place. If Congress doesn't have the staff to do it itself, um, it's more likely to turn to outside lobbyists. A 2017 study finds that only 6% of senior congressional staff think members have enough time and resources to work on legislation. And only 24% think Congress has high quality, nonpartisan internal policy expertise. There have been several cases where Congress's lack of knowledge on some of the technological issues has meant that when the executive branch comes to Congress and says, you know, this is how it is, this is how it works, it makes it more difficult for Congress to push back. What's more, for many employees on the Hill, Congress is not the place for a long-term career. They have been cutting their staff salaries, too. Some of these are really young people and they're being screamed at by constituents and they're uh, trying to deal with the different problems that their bosses have, all while trying to become expert at some really complex issues. If you only work 12 hours, you got off easy that day. And so it's kind of easy for people to leave the hill and go out and make a lot more money and work less hours. Congress is now trying to address these issues. Oh, sorry. Was I speaking in the wrong one? All right, well, that's a good start. In 2019, the House created the Select Committee on the Modernization of Congress. Now this committee is divided up, six Republicans, six Democrats. The year-long panel will give Congress advice on improving its procedures, increasing staff retention, and updating its technology. Whether it's um, paying staff more, more slots in the House Child Care Center, uh, better parental leave, the same kinds of things that anyone cares about with their employer. But there will be obstacles to reform. For one, congressional leaders may choose to keep the system as it is. Because although the select committee can offer recommendations, it has no legislative authority. Another obstacle? Convincing voters that Congress should get to spend more money on itself, and that's a hard sell. But I think at the end of the day, if you are a voter and you care about reducing the power of special interests, and you care about making sure that Congress has the ability to assert itself against the executive branch, you want a stronger, better resourced Congress, even if that means that Congress has to spend a little bit more money on itself.